I hope you were paying attention because now it's time for you to get some practice with view modifiers on your own by styling the rest of the text views in Bullseye. You may have noticed that there's something in common with the text views that we haven't styled yet, which are the target number to hit, the current round, and the score. Basically, those are all values that change throughout the game. For example, the target value changes to a new random number every round. Because these values change, we want those views to look a little bit different so that they stand out. So we need a new style for that. So now it's time for your challenge. Specifically, your goal is to create another view modifier called value style and use it to style the target number, round, and score text views as follows. First, the foreground color should be yellow rather than white. The font should still be Arial Rounded MT Bold, but the size this time should be 24 rather than 18. And the shadow should stay exactly the same. Once you've got this done as optional bonus challenge, see if you can avoid the fact that the label style and the value style both modify the shadow in the exact same way. I'll give you a hint. View modifiers can modify other view modifiers. At this point, please pause the video and give it your best shot. If you get stuck, keep on watching for the solution. Good luck. All right, we're back in Bullseye and we want to create another style for all of these values like 89, 0, and 1. So we already have an example of a style. So let's just use that as a starting point and tweak it. Go ahead and paste this. And instead of label style, we're going to call this value style. All right, now the foreground color isn't going to be white for these. It's going to be yellow. The font is still going to be Arial Rounded MT Bold, but the size is going to be 24. And the shadow will still be black with a radius of 5, 2, and 2. So we're good. And so now we can go to, let me resume this preview here. Now we can copy this example of applying a style here. And we're going to go to the target number, which is on the first row. And instead of applying label style, we'll apply value style. And you can see it's nice and big and bold and yellow. And now we're going to repeat that for the score and round labels as well. Okay, this is looking really good. Now, there is one more thing that we would like to do, and it's to avoid a little tiny bit of duplication here, which is this shadow. It's in the same, the same line of code is in the same two areas, which you might not think of a big deal, but imagine there's 20 of these styles, and then the designer says, actually, I want the shadow to be a little bit bigger, and now you have to remember to update all of them. It's just easier to have it all combined in one place. It's really easy to chain styles together, so we'll just paste this again, and we'll call it shadow. And then all it's going to do is apply the shadow style, so we'll delete the other lines of code. And then we can refactor the other ones to do that just by calling the modifier method and calling shadow. So you can nest these as deep as you would like, whatever makes sense for you and your app. Okay, let's just build and run on a simulator so we can see the final result in action. All right, now all of the labels in the app have some nice style. 